Hiya, I'm Casper, and welcome to video review for Jack Ryan, the final season. So, as always, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the furry. To start with the furry, eh, I mean, some dogs, but nothing notable. Moving on, um, I've done a couple different reviews throughout this season, so check them out in the, uh, in the description down below. But basically, um, if you just kind of turn your brain off and go with it, this season is pretty good. I will say that um, the last two episodes, I think, are probably the best because they're wrapping everything up. They're solving all the mysteries. They are getting characters in a way that has a good ending for them, that you're happy with where they're at in their life and what is continuing forward. Do they solve absolutely everything? I mean, no, because that would just have to like kill everyone in order for their lives to not continue and have different adventures and different things that they're trying to stop. But they definitely ended on a high note in a good way that I appreciated. And that's really what I wanted from this is to have it have a good ending. Uh, you just kind of have to especially in the last couple episodes, kind of just turn your brain off and just go with it. Because the like, oh, hey, this person is here for this reason, sure. Okay, now we're going to come up with an excuse to have this firefight here. Okay, an excuse for this person to do this. We're going to completely ignore bullet wounds that are inconvenient now. We just needed to take them out of that fight, but we need them back in this fight. So they're just, they're just going to be fine. They're just, it's fine. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that bullet wound. And then... Oh, you know, uh, we just, we need this to happen, so we're gonna just magic this thing to occur over here, and then, okay, well, we're done with this guy now, so we're gonna come up with a reason for this person to die, that, but nobody else, because we need them to continue on the thing, like, sure, okay, why not, but, yep, mm-hmm, sure, let's go with that. Um, so, the biggest thing that I did not care for this season is, I don't know, I messed around with the app settings and with my TV settings. So I don't know what the fuck the problem is, but it's it's like whoever Amazon hired to do their big budget things was like, hey, let's make everything completely unfucking seeable. So they had it in Citadel, and that was just shitty beyond all reason. They had it in uh, the terminal list, which was a great show that you couldn't see. Like, even in broad daylight, they just were like, let's just tweak down that sun just quite a bit and just cover everything in just this very dark thing. And then they did that here again. So I actually watched the first episode of Lioness right before I was like, oh, right, Jack Ryan finished. Let me watch those last two episodes. And just immediately following it with Jack Ryan, it's just like, you can have amazing action and like dramatic lighting and interesting and realistic looking lighting without making it hard to fucking see and making it look like even broad daylight where they literally show the sky as blue and bright with nary a cloud in the sky as just very overcast like it's just like, let's just like, like almost a sepia filter but not quite sepia just like yeah let's put an overcast filter on everything and let's have every indoor scene be only lit from one side from like a window that's way over there and i will say that it's a little bit brighter than the terminal list but not enough not enough i don't know what amazon is thinking or doing but they need to stop whoever their photo cinematographer or director of photography or whoever the fuck is doing this and fix your shit amazon fix your shit nobody else is doing this as badly as you are so fix it. Have your big budget shit. I know you're trying to show off that like, oh, look at the dramatic lighting we could have. Go fuck yourself. Make it so that people can still see shit that they're supposed to see. You can, Lioness does it just fine. Check out Lioness. It's great. It does it just fine in the lighting department. So far, anyway, I'm just one episode in. Anyhow, um, aside from that, John Krasinski is great. Bunk is great. Uh, the other characters that they introduce are, are great, like, great acting throughout. And again, you just kind of turn your brain off and just go with whatever the instance is. Uh, the dude who um, played the chief of staff in House of Cards is fantastic, as always. He's just such a badass. Oh, I love him. Um, and then, you know, the guy from Ant-Man is also fantastic in this. So just a lot of great actors, decent pacing. Um, you know, the, the firefights are decent. Uh, which is really what you want from this. It's okay. Like, it's it's good, but I'm glad the show is ending because I think they ended it at the right time to have a good ending without just ringing it out to death. So, 
check this show out on a screen that you can turn the brightness way up on and the contrast way up on and the black levels way just, just be able to mess with your screen for this show um but yeah that's really all i have for this one check it out uh thanks for coming thanks for watching hope to see you at the next one bye